Good evening. It is Friday evening. We're going to celebrate our daily Vespers. And as it is a Memorial Saturday, we don't have all of the names that we would normally remember for our parish, but it will take a memory eternal at the end of Vespers. And for those who are planning uh, for Saturday night, we'll be celebrating a form of Vespers at 5 p.m. and on Sunday morning uh, in Obednitsa service. So you are welcome to tune in um, on Saturday night and Sunday morning as well. And uh, the text will be available um, just before the service uh, on our website that you could take so that you can have with you as we celebrate the service. We are coming through yet another day. It's about four days now since we have been asked to uh, not be in church. So it's again, our opportunity to celebrate Vespers at home, in our home, and hopefully your home as well. <clears throat> Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty who covers yourself with light as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it shall never be shaken. You covered with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose the valley sank down to the place which you should appoint for them. You set a bound which they should not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. You made springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds they have their habitation, they sing among the branches. From your lofty abode you water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle, and plants for man to cultivate that he may bring forth food from the earth, and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the seed is of leavening which he planted. And then the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are full of the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness in his night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor till the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works, and wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures, yonder is the sea, great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships of Leviathan, which you formed with sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away your breath, they die and return to their dust. 
When you send forth thy spirit, <clears throat> they are created new and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul, praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for our most blessed Metropolitan Tikon Locum tenants of the Diocese of New England, for the Honorable Priest of the Doctrine in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For the President of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. Or to you, our dual glory, honor and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive. To the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities. Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you. And thou mayest be feared. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than the watchman for the morning. More than the watchman for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord. O with the Lord there is mercy. And with him is plenteous redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. O Lord, my heart is not lifted up. Mine eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things. Too great and too marvelous for me. But I have calmed and quieted my soul. Like a child quieted at his mother's breast. O Israel, hope in the Lord. From this time forth and forevermore. Remember, O Lord, in David's favor. All the hardships he endured. How he swore to the Lord. And vowed to the mighty one of Jacob. I will not enter my house or get into my bed. I will not give sleep to mine eyes or slumber to mine eyelids. Until I find a place for the Lord. A dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. Lo, we heard of it in Ephrathah. We found it in the fields of Jehor. Let us go to his dwelling place. Let us worship at his footstool. Arise, O Lord, and go to your resting place. Thou art the ark of thy might. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness. And let thy saints shout for joy. For your servant David say. Do not turn away the face of thine anointed one. The Lord swear to David a Sure, oh, from which he will not turn back. One of the sons of your body. I will set on your throne. If your sons keep my covenant. And my testimonies which I shall teach them. Their sons also forever. Shall sit upon your throne. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for his habitation. This is my resting place forever. Here I will dwell 
if I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her provision. I will satisfy her poor with bread. Her priests I will clothe with salvation. And her saints will shout for joy. There I will make a horn to sprout for David. I have prepared a limb for mine anointed. His enemies I will clothe with shame. But upon himself his crown will shed its luster. Behold how good and pleasant it is. My brothers dwell in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head. Running down upon the beard. The beard of Aaron. Running down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon. Which falls on the mountains of Zion. For the Lord has commanded the blessing. Life forevermore. Come bless the Lord you servants of the Lord. Who stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands to the holy place. And bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. Zion. We meet heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O of my prayer when I call upon you. Hear me, O Lord. Let my prayer arise in your sight as incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil, to busy myself with wicked deeds. In company with men who work iniquity, and let me not partake of their delights. Let a good man strike or rebuke me in kindness. Let the oil of the wicked never anoint my head. For my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. When they are given over to those who shall condemn them, then shall they learn that the word of the Lord is true. As a rock which one cleaves and shatters on the land, so shall their bones be strewn at the mouth of hell. But my eyes are toward you, O Lord God. In you I seek refuge. Leave me not defenseless. Keep me from the trap which they have laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked together fall into their own nets while I escape. I cry with my voice to the Lord, with my voice I make supplication to the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him, I tell my trouble before him. When my spirit departs from me, you know my way. In the path which I have hidden, in the, in the path where I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. I look to the right and watch, but there is none who takes notice of me. No refuge remains to me, no man cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord, I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Give heed to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my soul out of prison, and I may give thanks to your name. The righteous will surround me, for you will deal bountifully with me. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. <clears throat> Like the prodigal, I have turned away from your grace. I have spent the riches of your goodness, O Lord. I now run to you, crying, O tender-hearted one. I have sinned, O God, have mercy on me. If you, O Lord, shall mock iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you. Walking in the steps of Christ's offerings, the whole company of martyrs resolutely approached their many troubles and proclaimed him as God before the ungodly torturers and lawless kings. 
and they endured many torments in the hope of obtaining the glories of heaven. Seeing them now, they rejoice, and with all the choirs of the bodiless host, they stand in the presence of the Lord. For your name's sake, I have waited for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. Your martyrs, O Lord, did not deny you, nor did they turn from your commandments. By their intercessions have mercy on us. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope on the Lord. Your victorious martyrs, when they contended on this earth, endured great torments. But now they dwell in heaven and have received a perfect crown, that they may offer intercession for our souls. But with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. You desire the glory that is eternal and does not pass away, scorning the glory that is transitory and perishing. You took up your cross and followed after the crucified one, subjecting your flesh to ascetic struggles. Therefore, O James, we celebrate your memory. Praise the Lord, all nations. Praise him, all peoples. You were crucified to the world and to the passions, preserving your soul undefiled and pure, untainted by low things, O Father James. Thus you soared to the heavens with mystical visions. There you set forth your life as a true friend of Christ, O ever memorable one and a most faithful saint. For his mercy is abundant towards us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. O ever memorable one, you were revealed to be innocent, godless, and merciful. Filled with brotherly love, humility, meekness, and charity, you were adorned with compassion, gifted with patience, faith, and hope. You were enriched with prayer. In holiness you were illumined by the brightness of God. In the sixth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your creating command was my origin and my foundation, for you will to fashion me as a living creature. From nature's visible and invisible, you made my body from the earth, and gavest me a soul by your divine and light, creating breath. Therefore, O Savior, grant rest to your servants in the land of the living, in the mansions of the righteous. Now and ever in the same tone, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Who will not bless you, O most holy virgin? Who will not sing of your most pure childbearing? The only begotten Son shone timelessly from the Father. But from you he was ineffably incarnate, God by nature yet man for our sake, not two persons but one known in two natures. Entreat him, O pure and all blessed Lady, to have mercy on our souls. <clears throat> O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun, and behold the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship you with voices of 
praise, O Son of God, and giver of life. Therefore, O the world glorifies you. Wisdom. The Prochemenon is in the fourth tone. O oh, grant us your help against the enemy, for vain is the help of man. O oh, grant us your help against the enemy, for vain is the help of man. O oh, God, you have rejected us and have broken our defenses. O oh, grant us your help against the enemy, for vain is our help of man. O oh, grant us your help against the enemy, for vain is our help of man. Wisdom, the reading is from the book of Genesis. Let us be attentive. Then the ark rested in the seventh month, the seventeenth day of the month, on the mountains of Ararat, and the waters decreased continually until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first day of the month, the tops of the mountains were seen. So it came to pass at the end of forty days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. Then he sent out a raven which kept going to and fro until the waters had dried up from the earth. He also sent out from himself a dove to see if the waters had receded from the face of the ground. But the dove found no resting place for the sole of her foot, and she returned into the ark to him, for the waters were on the face of the whole earth. So he put out his hand and took her and drew her into the ark to himself. And he waited yet another seven days, and again he sent forth the dove from the ark, then the dove came to him in the evening, and behold, a freshly plucked olive leaf was in her mouth, and no one knew that the waters had receded from the earth. So he waited yet another seven days and sent out the dove, which did not return again to him any more. And it came to pass in the six hundred and first year, in the first month, the first day of the month, that the waters were dried up from the earth, and Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked, and indeed the surface of the ground was dry. And in the second month, on the twenty-seventh day of the month, the earth was dry. Then God spoke to Noah, saying, Go out of the ark, you and your wife and your sons and your sons' wives with you, Bring out with you every living thing of all flesh that is with you, birds and cattle and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth, so that they may abound on the earth and be fruitful and multiply on the earth. So Noah went out and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him. Every animal, every creeping thing, every bird and whatever creeps on the earth, according to their families, went out of the ark. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took of every clean animal and of every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled the soothing aroma. Then the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground for man's sake, although the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth, nor will I again destroy every living thing as I have done. Wisdom. The Prochemenon is in the sixth tone. Hear my cry, O Lord, listen to my prayer. Hear my cry, O Lord, listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you. Hear my cry, O Lord, listen to my prayer. Hear my cry, O Lord, listen to my prayer. Wisdom, the reading is from the book of Proverbs. Let us be attentive. The mouths of the righteous bring forth wisdom, but the perverse tongue will be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked, what is perverse, Dishonest scales are an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. When pride comes, then comes shame, but with hum the humble is wisdom. The integrity of the upright will guide them, but the perversity of the unfaithful will destroy them. 
Riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. The righteousness of the blameless will direct his way aright, but the wicked will fall by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright will deliver them, but the unfaithful will be caught by their lust. When a wicked man dies, his expectation will perish, and the hope of the unjust perishes. The righteous is delivered from trouble, and it comes to the wicked instead. The hypocrite with his mouth destroys his neighbor, but through knowledge the righteous will be delivered. When it goes well with the righteous, the city rejoices, and when the wicked perish, there is jubilation. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. He who is devoid of wisdom despises his neighbor, but a man of understanding holds his peace. Thou saith, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not despise the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life to Christ our God. For you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send a glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be unto all. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. O Lord our God, who above the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, look upon your servants and upon your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge, who yet loves mankind, had your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies. For blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Like the like the prodigal, I have turned away from your grace. I have spent the riches of your goodness, O Lord. I now run to you, crying, O tender-hearted one. I have sinned, O God, have mercy on me. Blessed are they whom you have chosen and taken, O Lord. Like the prodigal, I have turned away from your grace. I have spent the riches of your goodness, O Lord. I now run to you, crying, O tender-hearted one. I have sinned, O God, have mercy on me. Their memory is from generation to generation. 
their souls shall dwell with the blessed despising all earthly things of holy martyrs and bravely proclaiming christ in the arena you receive from him the just reward for all your sufferings and now since you have boldness to approach him we beseech you to entreat him as almighty god to preserve the souls of us who take refuge in you. In the same tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. You who alone received him, who cannot be contained, and gave birth to God the Word incarnate, pray that our souls may be saved. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For mine eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O apostles, martyrs, and prophets, our arts, holy monks, and righteous ones, who completed well the fight and kept the faith, you have boldness before the Savior. We pray, intercede for us with him as he is good, that he may save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Remember your servants, O Lord, since you are good, and forgive the sins they have committed in life. For none is sinless but you, who give rest to the departed. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. O Holy Mother of the ineffable life, we honor and magnify you with angelic hosts. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed Metropolitan Teacon, Locum, tenants of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this Holy House, and for all the parishes represented here this day for all our parents and brethren the orthodox departed this life before us especially the newly reposed archpriest joseph matushka olga constantinos mary and edward and you here and in all the world lie asleep in the lord lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy 
Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, and all the brethren of the communities represented here this day, for all those suffering for their Orthodox faith, for those lying on a bit of sickness in need of healing, especially the Archpriest Paul, Makachka, Natasha, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Anastasia, Sonia, Roseanne, Elaine, Catherine, Delia, Caitlin, Noah, Maria, Corey, Damien, Joseph, Kira, Carol, Ann, Louise, and all those that we hold in our hearts and our minds, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God, in his mercy and providential care for us, will call forth for our Diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an archpastor to care for the well-being of our diocese, and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith, in loving service to one another, and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present to await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we send a glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom. Christ our God, the existing is blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God the Word. Through Theotokos we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, and our sure hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, to the prayers of his most pure mother, of our holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, of St. James the Confessor, Bishop of Catania, who we commemorate today, of the holy and righteous ancestor of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Just as we heard today the reading from Genesis of the waters receding that Noah could again return with all the members who were shut up in the ark to return back to the earth again. We pray that uh, our prayers, those at home and those here together, uh, will also rise up to God and as a prayer that we'll now take for the coronavirus uh, that God will continue to strengthen us to persevere in the midst of this time. And then after that, we will take the prayer memory eternal um, to remember all of our brothers and sisters that we are thinking about on this Memorial Saturday. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness, you hear our cry in repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the impending threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of the physicians, the nurses, all the caregivers and our chaplains, and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever Amen. and unto ages of ages. Amen. Grant rest 
Christ, eternal and blessed repose, O Lord, to the souls of thy servants of God, the Archpriest Joseph, Matushka, Olga, Constantinos, Mary, and Edward, and all those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds who are fallen asleep, and make their memory to be eternal. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh...